Plain Insanity by Virgin Atlantic. A dog followed me home from the supermarket eight and three quarter days ago. Not a big dog, but not a small one either. I let it in and made a pot of tea. It didn't care for the tea, but it ate all the digestives. I drew a picture of the dog in purple crayon and placed it at the supermarket. We watched the news every night, and I became quite fond of him. I called him Derek after a bully in my school. Yesterday, there was a knock at the door. I'm here, the woman said. But where have you been? I asked. I'm sorry, I'm married, she said. My husband's in London, she said. He flew first class for a business class fare. Virgin Atlantic upper class, she whispered. She was plainly insane. So I gave her the dog. I'm Rob McLennan and I'm Executive Creative Director at Network Video. I think um, to get to, to, to the level of a Grand Prix or any great, great ad, um, you, you, everything needs to be like at the top. And, and literally the voice was like absolutely perfect for those spots. It had the right amount of intrigue. Um, the music was spot on and um, I think the delivery was perfect, the production was perfect. I think that we're doing really well on that front in South Africa. And it was the one thing that impressed the uh, our overseas judge a lot was the radio category and particularly on the production value side. But what we do have, which is um, sort of an ace up our sleeve, which no one else does, is we have our own radio studio. So it means we can experiment as much as we like. Your idea has to be, like, like any communication, whether it's TV, radio, print, your idea has to be fantastic. It has to be, um, you have to consider the medium that you're working in. And radio is a difficult ra medium to work in. I mean, when you're watching a TV ad, you've got the visual and the audio. Um, and um, I think I think what's difficult about it is people are often doing other stuff when they're doing radio. So you really need to make a, um, a difference. When you're watching TV, you're generally watching TV, you know. Or when you're reading a magazine and you're looking at a print ad, that's what you're doing. Radio, you don't have to do that. You can be doing something else. You need to be simple because you're in a very cluttered environment um, and um, when it comes down to production you have to realize that um, a lot of what you hear on radio becomes wallpaper and that's generally because it sounds so busy there's you know uh, radio stations tend to use like every sound effect they can for their station idents and uh, fireworks going off wishes to show that stereo works and all of that sort of stuff sometimes it's good to be calm and quiet in the environment or try and change what people are hearing within this sort of white noise so that your ad stands out. Production values, we don't pay enough attention to it. I think uh, we have to convince with our production values and quite often we slap on a couple of sound effects and that's it. I know a lot of people go to great lengths to, to choose voices that don't sound like they're reading a radio ad and go outside to so that we can pick up proper ambience and ambience and, and stuff like that to make them sound convincing. I think that's extremely important. We've got great musicians in this country and um, I think choice of music as well need is really, really important. Or the or the right or the right sound design for, for your ad is particularly important. Choice of voice is critical and and at the risk of getting dissed it's it's very we, we've got, we don't have as broad a spectrum of talent as pe people have the luxury of using in the UK or America. And um, fortunate for the radio artists, the ones that are good get used a lot. But unfortunately then people start to recognize them and you get that sort of radio voice quality. The reason I was so excited about it is I think that everyone thought like, some, well some people thought it would go straight over people's heads. And what we did is try and make an ad that made no sense, yet was completely intriguing and made you listen to the story. Like a David Lynch movie, like Twin Peaks or something like that, okay? And then the only part that makes sense is the only part that remains stuck in your mind. But you've been entertained the whole way through the ad. And to me, that was what was so special when I saw those ads in a script format in the first place. 
is that, um, I mean, the concept is, you know, that they're utter nonsense. But that they're completely entertaining. The production values are so fantastic that you get drawn into the story and you're trying to make sense of it. And then out in the middle of it pops this thing that says, you know, fly first class for price of business class. And, and to me, that's like fantastic because it's a retail ad. And instead of doing retail ads that go like, okay, now do this one, uh, 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 which ends up being like complete wallpaper and nonsense, we did it in a completely fresh way.